Look, I want to show you first, something. Look, check this I said, out. Just, I'm going to do look, this. Everybody's throwing up swords for you. Everybody's clapping for <laughs> you because you know it, it's so meaningful to us that you're that you're doing this. So thank you for that. Where are you calling in from? Seward, Florida, which is um, 45 minutes north of West Palm Beach. Very cool. Good to have you from Stuart, Florida. And you have a very ER shredder background there um, with the fishing poles. It is very cool. I'm loving that. <laughs> fishing poles um, and bicycles. <laughs> yes, that is right up. That is our lifestyle. I love uh -huh. that. Who shared ER shred with you? Um, I don't know the person, um, but when I restarted Isogenics in August, I restarted yeah. the... Um, just the shakes, because I love the shakes, it's very convenient. Yeah. I went on Isobody Challenge Facebook page. Cool. And um, I just sent so many messages to people just have, asking if they can help me with the binge eating that I have. Yeah. And um, Jamie pointed it out to me, Jamie Palmer. I don't know if you know who she is. I have no idea right. who she is. <laughs> I like but... you, Jamie. Jamie Palmer, whoever you are out there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thank you, Jamie. Really, that's amazing. <laughs> but and you're... she, she, she said that a lot of people are getting results. So Jamie Palmer. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Jamie Palmer yes. becomes a superhero in our book because the story that we're about to hear from Lizette, you'll you'll understand why it is so meaningful. What you know, Jamie Palmer has something so simple, you guys like this dental hygienist, I kid you not, if that's the problem that I'm having on my left side of my face, my jaw, my ear, if if what she's saying is happening is indeed what's happening, then she becomes a superhero in my book, because then I know what what to do about it. So Lizette, what is your passion in life? My passion um, always on Facebook is to help people um, get them motivated to work out. Just walk. I just say, just go for a walk. I'm always that's making Je videos. That's what Jesse says. Jesse yes, says that all the time. That's walk. perfect. And also choose happiness. So those are the two things that I encourage people on Facebook all the time, including yeah. my family. But also my personal passions are, as you can see, <laughs> I love to have fun. <laughs> I love the beach. I love uh, roller coasters, um, traveling bicycle riding, whatever. I just, anything that's so fun, cool. that it, it mm. makes me happy. So those are my passions. You're, you're definitely an ER shredder. You're very active. You're outdoorsy. Um, you know, I, I love that. So give us an idea. What was life like before ER shred and what unfolded when you were introduced to it? Um, well, I've always been a junk food eater. And when I say junk food, I'm talking about popcorn, chips, chocolate, candy, you name it, but mm -hmm. I go crazy. I used to go crazy with it. I have not had junk food since October 24th. <laughs> Wait a sec. So you were <laughs> crazy, crazy in your book, The Crazy Junk Food Eater, right? Yes. And the cravings were off the charts and crazy. you have not had any since October? October 24th was my last time because I started my 21 day shred on October 25th. So, so I what, went crazy eating junk food. I mean, yeah. when I say junk food, I'm talking about the big Russell Stover's chocolate boxes. Mm -hmm. I'll eat the whole thing. The big bag of chips. Um, I would go to the movie theater and get the large tub of popcorn, butter in the middle, butter on top. And I eat it two or three hours. And then you'd time. make yourself sick. Am I right? Yes. And then mental, mentally scold myself. Right. The shame and the guilt and yes. the regret. I get it. Yes. So what what changed? This program on on day two, I said, wait a minute, something's wrong. Something's not. I don't crave. I'm not craving anything. I was not craving any junk on day two. And right. I ate uh, steak. I ate shrimp, bacon, eggs. I mean, everything. Yeah. Two shakes incubated, incubated shakes. Yeah. And I just do not crave any junk food anymore. I can so pass cool. by pass by all the junk and don't even crave it. So I love this endorsement because there's a lot of people out there that are eating a lot of junk. And I want people to know this. Jesse, I'm gonna do your role a little bit right now. Guys, you're eating junk. <laughs> Guys, you're eating junk because when I was telling Jesse 
five, six years ago when I was saying, man, like I, I know I eat better than 90% of Americans. That's still not good enough because I was still drinking Coke Zero. I was still eating the Sour Patch Kids. I was still turning to all these different vices. And you know what? I justified it because I said, ah, a little bit won't hurt. A little bit does hurt. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. give me an idea, Lizette, like what has unfolded as a result of you gaining this control? What has unfolded? Um, we can't say what, in medical. terms of in terms of results. What have you noticed in terms of results? Have you lost weight? Have you gained energy? Have you gotten more active? Yes, um, I've lost so far since October 25th, um, 7.6 pounds. Um, I can't tell you the inches because I don't remember, but I've lost inches. No more bloating, no more eating Tums, popping Tums. Okay, so you were a Tums popper as well. Yes, so I, I. I saw your video and I said, oh, that's me. <laughs> um, oh, my stomach man. was always bloated. I always would say I look like I'm six months pregnant because it was so bloated. Yeah. And um, like I said, no more Tums. Um, yeah. I sleep re very well now. Yeah. Before I had You've issues. noticed it. I've been, we've been hearing a lot of sleep lately. That's fascinating. Mm -hmm. A lot yeah. of really good sleep. And I know that excites Jesse because he always talks yes. about the importance of good sleep. Because I was losing sleep. And um, I also had restless leg syndrome. Well, the doctor didn't say that, but I know I had it. I mean, I... I it was restless. I don't have that mm. anymore. And I'm thinking that's the amp. I'm not sure. The amp hydrate. I, you know what? I don't know. And, and technically, we can't even say that these products treat any kind of I condition. Know. So you see what I'm saying? Electrolytes. So <laughs> yeah, but maybe, you know, that's cool. I mean, it's cool to think mm -hmm. fascinating when the body, you know, when the body's getting the right kinds of things that it needs, the right building blocks, the right foundation. Yeah. Can the body potentially work better? That's you know, that's important. Mm -hmm. So give me an idea, Lizette. What about energy levels? Energy is better. Um, I would yeah. like it to be, you know, more, but yeah. it's, it's gotten better. I've, you know, because I'm getting my sleep now. So what about recovery from, from fitness? It's good. Um, I do CrossFit three days a week. Dang. I, I used to do are five, you... but I dropped it to three. Um, Jesse, are you... I think said yeah. on Facebook three days a week is enough. So <laughs> I need to, I need to adhere to that advice too. Cause I beat, I beat myself up if I don't go six days a week. <laughs> <laughs> so give, I do it for the mind, you know, I do it for the yes. mind, Yeah. but uh, give me an idea also just about general overall well being. Have you noticed any shifts emotionally? Have you noticed any shifts in, uh, in just your overall outlook and, and so forth? Oh, yes. I'm getting things rolling i've been procrastinating on like working a business another business mm. um i'm just my mindset is like very optimistic right. i'm very optimistic and i want to get things going i love that so before i, that. I was and like I... in a in a very down state you know yes now i'm so optimistic i <laughs> i wait i, I, I always wait for the next day let's get this done no. So you've been you've been really active in the community. And I've noticed that like sometimes what happens with people is, you know, we got to realize that people we meet in everyday life, you know, life's a struggle these days, modern times, a lot of modern day stressors, a lot of people they go through day, it becomes very drudgery, 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 and, and it becomes tedious, and it becomes monotonous. And, you know, I've, I've often thought, why do people light up so much when I pay them a compliment? And then I had a realization, well, <laughs> how often are they, are they having someone pay them a genuine, sincere, yes. um, thoughtful compliment? And, and a lot of mm -hmm. people, it's not very often. And that's why, you know, people start lighting up so much. I've noticed you lighting up in the group, actually. Um, and it's beautiful. <laughs> and, and I'm very grateful. Thank you. What do you think about the community and, and uh, you know, just the support that you found there? I love it. I, I love the support. People, you know posting on mine and commenting on mine and I'm com commenting on theirs and just everybody applauding each other for all the well that they're doing. So good. I love it. So good. I'm so happy for you. I'm so excited that you're on this journey. I've, I've actually asked you to please continue to post and continue to allow us you know, you have to open up. It's a place of vulnerability. You have to yeah. allow us to to cheer for you and allow us to follow you and allow us to, you know, watch 
all of this unfold. And I just have this sneaky feeling. I was telling Jesse last night, actually, that Lizette's story is going to be one of those epic, you know, like classic stories. We're going to hear a, a few more of those tonight. Oh, Lizette, yes. thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> I appreciate thank it you. as well. I appreciate it.